So we just finished up our all new and final release for Halloween, our Bewitched Bundle, as you can see here in front of me. Um, I'm gonna say that that is definitely, and I knew it would be my favorite piece. Uh, a lot of you have already made these and I hope that you enjoyed them. And if you haven't, it's still free with purchase um, up until the next bundle comes out. So if you're looking for some great Halloween decor, some one of a kind pieces, maybe a gift uh, for someone that is a Halloween fanatic like myself, uh, definitely take a look at this bundle and this piece here um, is our little happy jack treat basket this is going to my neighbor across the street who um, recently helped me feed my cat while i was out of town because the uh, the auto feeder jammed up gotta love technology right but as always after a release we have a new freebie and today we're going to put together our um, witch hat treat cone very simple uh, I actually have a Halloween tree. I don't know if that's a thing, but I do have one. And these are gonna make uh, really cool little favors for the kids. We'll fill them up with some candy. Healthy ones, of course. Uh, and then they can take them off the tree before school in the morning. So let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, we've got, this, this is the main piece. I've already gone ahead and folded everything at the score marks. Okay, now for this, I actually used my uh, Cricut Maker, used the score tool. So as of last November, we started including solid score lines with our projects. You'll find those in the extras folder. So anyway, let's get to assembling this thing. And we're gonna start by just putting glue on this tab and connecting it to the other side to join it all together. So get your glue on there and just spread it out to the very edge so that when we join it, it makes good contact. Okay, so just bring over the other side, tuck it right behind, and make sure you get it nice and lined up with the top, and just give that a squeeze all the way up and down. There we go. If you get a little bit of glue that shoots out up here, it's okay. We are gonna eventually put a nice purple pattern, or not pattern, just a purple piece right on there. And it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and fold that at that seam where I just joined everything to make sure that everything sits nice and nice and tight. Okay, so there we go. Okay, and now what we can go ahead and do is we're gonna take the brim of the hat and we're gonna connect that to the piece like this. Okay, so you'll notice that there are some tabs here. We're just gonna, Actually, you know what, before we do that, let's take this decorative piece. I went ahead and I inked this with a little bit of purple ink since I'm using purple paper. And let's just get this on there while it's flat. That way it'll be easier. Try to get that glue out to the little scallops there so it doesn't come peeling off. You don't have to get it all the way out there, but close enough will do. And then a little bit right inside here on the inner perimeter. Okay, and you can see the shape there. You just need to match that up with the existing shape here. Just lay that down right on there. Do your best to get it as aligned as you can. There we go. And you can flip that over and press down. Make sure it didn't move. There we go. Okay, and then we can take these tabs and just pop them right into this piece here. And what I would do is I'd start on one side and let's get our glue on one of these tabs. That is way too much glue. I'm gonna spread some of that off. You don't need to worry about getting glue on this entire piece. Just make sure that you get enough on there and just pop it right in. Make sure that this cone part is nice and flush with the brim of the hat and then press that onto the inside here. So I'm just pushing it down to the inside here and then take a look and make sure that everything else is sitting nice and flush, and it is. And then go on over to one of these sides opposite of the side that we just glued down. Throw a little bit of glue on this tab here. Don't need to go, don't need to go crazy with it. And take a look and make sure that again, it's nice and flush. And press that down, hold that in place for just a moment. And then just add your glue to the remaining tabs 
making sure that you kind of push it down, the brim down up against the cone so it's nice and flush there so that we don't have any gaps. And don't push too hard. You don't want to warp the paper. Moving on to the next tab here. Sometimes in the studio, it's kind of hard to see the black pieces, but we'll do our best to show you. Okay, there we go. And I think that's all of them. No, one more. And there we go. Just pop that in there, make sure it's nice and flush. And if it's not completely flush, it's okay. We have one more little piece here that will kind of save you. We've got this piece here, and this is going to get glued on just like this. So you have a little witch hat. Okay. And I'm going to put this down flat on my table. And what I'm going to suggest you do is start with one of the inner pieces here. And also, as you're doing this, make sure there's a, on this little band here, there's some holes. Okay, that's where our little pipe cleaners are going to go. You want to make sure that you match those up with the holes on the actual cone of the hat. Okay, so I'm going to start here where there's a little hole. It's actually the middle. And I'm going to get some glue on there. I'm going to make sure that when I put this on, I'm matching up the hole. Okay. Just kind of pop it down so it's flush with the brim. And then just pull it right on there. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay. And then I'm going to head on over here. I'm going to glue this side. Well, actually, we got to put some glue here. We can do these next two, I think. Shouldn't be a problem. Throw a little bit of glue on there and then get your glue all the way out to this piece at the end so it doesn't come pulling, up, pulling away from the project. I'm going to spread that out nice and thin and get that nice and aligned. Make sure that it matches up with the hole and just press that down into place. There we go. And that just leaves two more sides here. And just get your glue on the remaining two sides. And then, of course, make sure you get some right up to the very edge of this side. There we go. And pop that over. Make sure it's nice and flush against the, the brim there. And it should match up pretty much perfectly with the other side give or take, depending on how flat you put it on. But either way is fine. And there we go. Okay, so there's our little treat cone. And we do have a little buckle that we're going to put on this. Now before we put our buckle on, I'm going to take my, I'm using two pipe cleaners. I've got a nice purple one and I've got a nice gold one. And we're going to twist these around together just to make them one. And I don't know that. I don't know that I've ever done this. Actually, I probably have. I just don't know if I've ever done it well. But we're just going to twist this, and it's up to you how much or how little you want to twist it. I think uh, you want to try to keep it consistent. So just kind of take a look at the spacing you have there as you're twisting this, and just try to keep it consistent. I really doubt anyone's going to notice. Uh, well, maybe they will. I would. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure anyone would notice the, you know, the consistency of your wrapping, but hey, who knows? Maybe they will. Okay. And then, of course, since we're wrapping it, this is going to be a little bit shorter than the other side. What I'll probably do is just trim it at the end because I don't think it needs to be that long. Okay, there you go. That looks cute. Okay, so give that a nice, give that a nice curve, kind of in the middle. And then let's take a look. We're going to put this through the inside. I just want to see roughly how big I want to make this. Uh, I think that's probably a good size. So what I'll do, all right, so I'm going to grab my little wire cutters here. And I'm just going to trim the end of this. And I'm going to trim this about here. Because we do, we do need to leave a little bit of space so that we can kind of um, fold it 
All right, so let me pull, put this out. So it's almost like an omega sign, like that. And just feed that through the little hole, like that. Just pop it up, and then you can just kind of fold that up so that it kind of stays. And you'll have a little, you have a little bit of that sticking out, but that's fine. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just feed that through. Okay, so I think that mine is going to be, uh, let's see, I think mine's gonna be facing like this way. So I'm gonna put my buckle, I'm gonna put my buckle right here, just like that. Okay, that looks cute. So let's get our glue onto our little buckle, put that in place, and call it a day. And just make sure that this is nice and flush with the brim, nice and centered on that panel. So you can see, here's our little witch's hat, right? And then of course it's gonna be hanging upside down. And there you go. So there's your cute little treat cone, ready for some sweets, ready for Halloween day, ready for your Halloween treat if you have one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. That lets me know that you enjoy our projects and you love crafting with me. And if you make this or anything from our, our latest Halloween bundles, we'd love to see them. So join us in the official group on Facebook by doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group, where you can join myself and the 15, almost 16,000 plus dreamers that inspire us daily. So happy Halloween. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to crafting with you again.